Today, you will learn how to quickly transfer Word file from laptop to an iPhone in just easy steps. So if you are finding difficult when it comes to sending Microsoft Word file from your laptop to an iPhone, follow me. Let me put you through on how you can do that in easy steps. Before you start the process of transferring the Word file from your laptop to an iPhone, First, ensure that your computer is connected to the internet, okay? You can see here, I'm connected to a hotspot named GTEC. So if you have a free hotspot for your location, just get that connected to it, okay? Get your computer connected to it so that you have internet access because we need internet for us to complete this task, okay? Then after that, Open the Microsoft Store app. It's been here at the taskbar by default. I use Windows 11 here. So if you have Windows 10 or older version, probably you have Microsoft Store app pre-installed on it. Okay. So if yours is not pinned here, you can click at the start menu, then click into the search area, and then type the word Microsoft Store. Okay good it has shown up in the search results so click on it for it to open we are accessing microsoft store because there is an application we need to install on our pc that is the transfer of the word file from the laptop to iphone without it we cannot do that so in this search area click and then search for itunes press the enter key for it to show up so once it shows up in the search results click on it you'll be taken to a page that looks like this so click on install here i have open button because i have already installed it on my pc but if you are using it for the first time on your windows pc you need to get it installed so click on install or get depending on the button here all right which after you hold on for it to finish its installation. Once you are done with the installation of iTunes app, just click open. As this iTunes app opens, ensure you are on the library tab. All right. Then after that, use the cable you use in charging of your iPhone and connect one end to the charging port of your iPhone and the other end to the USB port of your laptop. Once this connection is made, you may be prompted on your iPhone screen to allow your laptop to access the iPhone. Just tap on allow or trust depending on the button that shows up on your iphone screen after that type in the passcode of your iphone okay so that you will grant full access then back to the computer screen you will see this iphone icon show up here if after the connection using the cable and you don't see any iphone or phone icon show up here disconnect the cable from the iphone and reconnect again once the phone icon shows up here you know that we are good to make further steps so click on the phone icon now this displays this interface click on file sharing now this displays some applications that can share file from your laptop to your iphone all these apps here are installed on my iphone and they have the capacity to share files so if you don't have any listed here you may need to install microsoft word app on your iphone or excel they can share files so once you install them they will show up on this list okay so here i want us to use any of these applications though here they are serving as folders so let's work with microsoft word i want to have the word file placed in the word folder so i'll click on it 
This opens a page like this and it will display some files that are already existing in the Word folder of your iPhone. All right. But here, our interest is to add a new file, a new Microsoft Word file. So click on Add File. Then this automatically opens the file explorer of your PC. By this side, you have some folders. You have Home, you have Gallery, you have uh, OneDrive, you have Desktop, you have Downloads. You know where the file you want to send to your iPhone is saved. The folder, it is saved in, on your laptop. So here, I have my own Word file in the Documents folder. So I'll click on Documents folder. Then this displays some files that are existing in the Documents folder of my iPhone. If yours is in pictures or downloads, just click on that folder, okay? So look at the file I want to send to my iPhone. So I'll click on the properties, proper fraction. That's the name of the file. So I'll click on it for it to be selected. Then click on open. Now let's take a look and see if we can find the file we said now. This is proper fraction. So here it is. So now let me walk you through on how you can access this word file from your iPhone, okay? I am on my iPhone screen, so you are likely to have this kind of interface on your own iPhone. Then get to an application named Files. It comes pre-installed on every iPhone. So tap the Files app. Now this takes you to on my iPhone location. You can see the name here, but maybe if you find yourself here. What you need to do is to tap on the option on my iPhone. Now, this lists some folders created on your iPhone. Most times, whenever you install a new app on your iPhone, a new folder is created on your iPhone automatically. And you can see here, one of the folders is Word. And if you can remember, when we transfer the file from our laptop to iPhone, we place this in the Word folder, all right? So tap on Word. Now, this displays some files that are existing in this Word folder. And mine is proper fraction. You can see it here. So I can just tap on it for it to open, or I can use it or for anything I want to use it for, I can share it to someone. So this is how you can access the Word file that you transferred from your laptop to the iPhone. It is that simple. I believe you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel. Here we discuss more on technology, which goes across how to use computers, how to use smartphones, including iPhone and Android, how to use some software on your laptop, as well as on your phone, and also YouTube education plus self-publishing. So we have a lot on that tech that you will learn okay and that will improve your skills as well so subscribe to learn more all right leave a comment in the comment section let me know how you feel about this tutorial does it really help you does this content solve the problem that brought you here in the first place if it doesn't just hear what you have to say in the comment section okay i may have extra guide for you hit the like button the one that points up like this so that youtube will recommend this content to more people if you don't do that, there is no how they will know that it's helpful. So please, I need it. That one that points up, just hit it, okay? One like this. Just hit it. Thank you for taking your time to watch through this video. To learn more on how to transfer what file from laptop to Android smartphone, watch this video. Thank you and see you some other time.